Hello friends, hope you're doing good today. Okay, so let's talk about the service-oriented structure of Informatica. When we say service-oriented architecture, there are services which run to do the assigned tasks of those services along with helping other services to perform their own tasks. There are two main services that are required, the repository services and the integration services. For example, when I want to design it, when I'm pulling, when I'm putting the flow in process, where I'm importing the source definition and target, have done a couple of transformations, and when I save it, all that is taken as a command by the repository service, where it treats all that features and loads it into the repository database. Which means, whatever I saved, whatever objects I create, edit, delete, and save them will go into my repository database. Anything which should go in, in or come out of the repository, it should be done using the repository service. Let's say I saved something and tomorrow there is a change in the requirement. I have to edit it. The moment I edit it and save it, it is the repository service that will recognize and take the command of save send it across the repository using it, own services of creating insert or delete the repository contents. Once it is done here, it will again send a signal to the repository service which will be sent to the client tools. Now how does the repository communicate with the repository database? This is where the native drivers come in. What are native drivers? Well, native drivers are the connection links for one type of source to Informatica and for the target as well. For example, if you have a SAP and you have to read the data from the SAP's database, then you have to have a drive with which you will connect to the SAP database directly using Informatica. Similarly, if you have to load data into a Teradata database, then you should have either a native driver which is inbuilt with Informatica or an ODBC connection which is compatible with both Teradata and Informatica. So now we know that the repository services help to save the ETL job and retrieve the ETL job. We'll discuss the integration services later and this would be it for now. Thank you so much for staying with us. Bye bye.